Generally, the water from your faucet comes from freshwater sources such as rivers, lakes, and aquifers, which are underground reservoirs. With its many uses, such as irrigation, drinking, and manufacturing, water can be a scarce resource in some places. In this activity, students will design systems to collect rainwater that falls on a house. Once the water is collected, it can be purified to a high degree for use as drinking water. It can be also used with less purification for uses such as showering or irrigation. This is known as gray water. For activity three, each pair of students should be provided with the following. Aluminum foil, a cardboard box, and additional scrap cardboard. The instructor should have on hand tape, a watering can, a measuring cup, and additional scrap material. The instructor should begin by introducing the constraints of the design challenge to the students. They can use any of the scrap material available. In order to introduce this engineering design challenge, start with the challenge as written in the youth handouts. Tell the students, you will be given a cardboard box that represents a house with no roof. You must put a roof over it to protect it from water. In addition, you must collect as much of that water as possible. After you've provided the challenge, then show the students what you mean by rainwater in this activity. And what we mean is using a gardening can with a fixed amount of water to pour that water over a house. Then, go ahead and actually pour that water over a blank cardboard box with no roof. The box will be soaking wet, and that will demonstrate what happens if they don't build anything. You are provided with some materials in the kit, and additional materials are encouraged for this activity. The more materials you provide, the more creative the engineering designs will be, but the more time the students will take in discussing and thinking about their options, so the longer the activity will take. As you can see, the system collecting the water is a gutter system, but don't use the word gutters with students when introducing this activity. If you do, the systems all tend to look exactly like gutters, and they tend to be a little less creative. Ultimately, gutters are a very effective design, and the students will realize that through this activity. Explain that the projects will be tested with a watering can. Show them what rain looks like. Measuring cups will be used to see how much water is collected. The measuring cup should be 5 inches away from the edge of the house. Here are some examples of designs. In closing the activity, ask the students which designs performed best and why. Next, ask the students how they could have improved their designs. Improvement could come from keeping the house dry, could come from making the design sturdier, or it could come from collecting more water. Finally, close by having the students compare their designs to gutters on a house. After that, think about the next activity and tell the students that we'll be looking at how engineers use the water once it's been collected.